Hi guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a dupe or don't. I've done one of these before and it went down really well. So I'm going to try another product today and the product I'm comparing, comparing is the Glam Glow Mud Mask and I want to try and find a dupe for it. So the one that I have right here is the PS Love to Glow face mask and it is a mud mask. Now I've already tried this on and I've given my whole feedback on it and I've applied my makeup and I thought it went on really, really well. PS Love is obviously the range that Pennies or Primark carries, depending on what country you live in. If you're living in Ireland, it's called Pennies. Anywhere else, it's the Primark. And I wanted to see what this mask was like. How did it compare to the Glam Glow mask? A lot of people said they were quite similar and I put them to the test. So were they dupes? That's the question that you probably want to know. If you did enjoy this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up and let's skip on into what I thought of the masks. So here I am with my cat ears on and I'm going to test out both face masks obviously. Now I obviously have traveled back in time for this portion of the video and I haven't opened this yet so <laughs> let's look at it. So it comes in a jar very similar to the Glam Glow. There is 50 mils in this and in the Glam Glow, the Glam Glow there is 34 grams. There's a little bit more in the pennies one and I'm just going to open this because I have no idea what this is like on the inside naturally. It is a very light color I will say that in comparison to the dark chart color that is the glam glow so that's what it looks like on the inside and I will show you my glam glow my glam glow has seen better days guys so the glam glow is significant significantly darker than the pennies one the consistency is obviously quite different the glam glow has the little extracts in it I can't exactly remember is it eucalyptus or something that's in it I'll link down the video don't forget to watch that of me actually applying it where I have a little bit more information on the whole product and what's in it back when I was full of information. <laughs> but this one does not have any of the particles that the Glam Glow has. It smells very similar to all the other products that are in the PS Love range that I love the scent of. And the Glam Glow obviously has that kind of eucalyptus scent that kind of catches you at the back of your throat and you literally want to cough. It's a really pleasant once applied to the skin. But obviously you can see my skin is not great. That's the purpose that I did this video today because it's not looking, it's not looking its best. Okay, I've managed to find two semi-clean brushes. I don't mean to mean semi-clean, they're just some of them are stained. This one has pink staining on it. So I'm gonna use these brushes to apply the product to my skin. I'm gonna put the Glam Glow on first because obviously I know how that works on my skin and I don't know how long the pennies one is going to take to dry. Very short on my glam glow at the moment. And I need to find a stock, stockist or someone who stocks it in Ireland because it's really hard to get. I think Brian Thomas might have it or Cloud 10 or someone like that. So you've seen me use this before in a video and probably on Snapchat. I'm just going to apply a thin layer of it to my skin. I absolutely love the dark texture of it. You know when it's ready to be removed because it goes lighter and I just, I love it. I love everything about this. I love the way it makes my skin feel once I take it off. I just think it's a great face mask. But it's saucy as we already talked about. It's hella expensive. I mean, 50, 60 euro for a face mask. Oh, it's, it kills me every time. Every single time I buy it. Let's move on to the pennies one. Ha, can you take me seriously? Ha. <laughs> and it's a th oh wow this is a clay like consistency it's quite thick um, oh, I like this. much lighter as you can see than the glam glow one consistency of it I love the smell of this won't be able to know what this does or if it does anything until I take it off you know if I can feel my skin cleaner etc really really like this I like the consistency of it. I like how thick it is. I thought this would be like a cream. It's definitely a lot thinner of a product than the Glam Glow, obviously, and it doesn't have the big bits in it, like I already said. And you can see that's significantly lighter in color. I'm just checking the time now. It's 11.54, so I'm going to see how we get on or which one dries quicker. Obviously, the Glam Glow is going to dry quicker because I applied it first. Okay, I'm going to zoom me in <laughs> so you can see my ratchet face right now. I will say I have looked better, definitely. So you can see that this side is, I've had to build it up like two layers, I think, 
compared to the Glam Glow, just one layer. And Glam Glow is drying a lot quicker. You can also see that the Glam Glow is like pulling, well, I don't know, I hope you can see it, is kind of pulling all the particles out around my nose. You can see like my pores and stuff. That's always the way and along my forehead. This one is not doing anything like that, but it is still drying. So I'm gonna leave it for a few moments. I'm gonna take a little tea break and I will come back to you in a few more moments once this bad boy has dried and I will talk to you about how it feels on my skin once it's dried and then I will go and remove it. Okay guys, this face mask has been on for 10 minutes and I don't really see a whole lot of drying going on on this side. Like it, it feels dry to the touch, it just looks like it's not dry. This is completely dry, I need to take it off now. I mean, you can see what it looks like. This is significantly paler than this side. This is definitely more of a clay mask this is more of a creamy type of texture. It's really weird, but it dries like most face masks do. It's more of like a mud mask, whereas this is a clay mask. So I'm gonna wash it off, and you can see if there's any difference between the texture of my skin, because I know when I use Glam Glow, my skin does be glowing afterwards. Okay, so I've washed it off. I don't know if you can notice any difference. I really can't at this moment in time. Looking at it in the mirror, like I always think that my skin looks really, really fresh after taking off a face mask anyway. This side feels much softer than this side, although this side still feels, look at me, whoa. this side does feel quite soft. And definitely around my chin area feels much softer and around my forehead. It does, my skin actually feels really, really, really soft on this side. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with the results of that. I'm gonna continue using this over the next maybe fortnight or so. I'll do another mask maybe in another five or six days and I will come back to you and tell you in the description bar below how I'm getting on with the mask. This is just my first impressions. They're not a dupe in my opinion. They're not. Definitely not a dupe because Penny's one has a different consistency. It's a different colour. It has different elements in it, different properties. The Glam Glow one in my opinion is still a favourite of mine. Like it's a favourite mask of mine. But if this does wonders to my skin I will definitely continue to repurchase it. It's three euro and fifty cent. I like the way it kind of makes my skin look slightly radiant. I also like the smell of it. I think it's a really kind of high-end looking product. With skincare it is hard because you pay the higher end for the better ingredients, if that makes any sense. And I never, ever, ever, ever care about spending a lot of money on skincare. I mean, I would spend 150 euro on my moisturizer, which I do, because I want the best sort of skincare. You only have one face, that's the way I look at it. But for face masks, I mean, if you don't wanna splash out in a 54 euro face mask, then definitely pick up the pennies one. I was pretty impressed with it, and I definitely will repurchase it. I think it's really nice, I bought two, because they're really, really hard to get. They kind of sell out within a day. I will keep you up to date with how the mask was performing over the next little while in the description bar below, so do keep an eye out for that, because I will obviously know a little bit more in a couple of days, but my skin feels amazingly soft. I'm gonna moisturize right now and I'm using an affordable moisturizer. This is the PS Love Glow Moisturizer. You swear I was sponsored by them, I'm really not, but I actually quite like this moisturizer at the moment. It has like iridescence in it when you apply it to your skin. You definitely won't be able to see it on camera, but it makes my skin look radiant. Talk to you guys very, very soon. If you are not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You will get notifications when I upload a video, so you will never miss a single one. Thank you again, guys, for watching, and I will talk to you all very, very, very soon. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked this one, then don't forget to check out some of my other videos that are on my channel.